Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. It's already Sunday. Uh, this morning, I'm going to shout out to Simon. Simon asked us, what, about a week ago? About a week ago, uh, maybe we can try to make a frastino. Okay, frastino, I think. So we are going to make, uh, let's make caramel frastino this morning. Uh, caramel is one of my favorite syrups. So, uh, so what is frastino? You know, that's just another name for kind of like Starbucks frappuccino, uh, ice, milk, and uh, syrup, uh, if you guys like, and then some shot of great espresso, that's it, and they blend it in. So that is Frastino. Correct me, I'm wrong, guys, okay? I know you guys are purist out there, uh, knows really what that is, but yeah, let me know in the comment section. As far as I know, so that's kind of like the milk-based drink with a blended milk-based drink. So uh, this morning, I'm gonna be using, uh, I switch out to my bottomless port filter to uh, 18 to 20 gram baskets. So uh, we're gonna use 20 gram, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm using, using the coffee beans from Good Brothers Coffee. It's called something new, okay? That's it, something new. So uh, I have no idea what that is. So comes to grinder setting. I know some of you are really curious. So my grinder setting at number nine. So number nine or eight, that's my starting point usually. So let's get going. So we got 20 gram here. And then, I'm just, you know what? Because I want to be precise today. So I just make sure I got a 20 gram out. So let's measure this. And what I like to do is at the end of uh, grinds, I like to tap. Just make sure to tap it everything. So get the, all the coffee grinds out. I got 19 gram in, 9.6 gram out. You know what? I bet you it's hiding something somewhere. Okay. I know this is. Some of you think I'm crazy by doing this, but it does work. Okay, I got 19 gram in, uh, I'm sorry, I got 20 gram in, 20 gram out. So we are at exactly 20 gram. Okay, so we know we have a dosing amount at 20. Again, the, the tapping from the top, I have to say it does work, okay? And I thought it might not work before, but yeah, I mean, again, it's silly, but it does work. All right, so here we go. So since I'm using the bottomless pore filter, I like to use my uh, puck rake for every time whenever I'm using my bottomless. So hopefully there's, uh, we are going to make sure to do the WDT thing here. WDT is the wise distribution technique. Just make sure we're gonna declump everything because the built-in grinder is not the best. So sometimes you're gonna see a lot of clumps. So this tool help you declump it. Uh, you can actually make it pretty easy. Only thing you need is some uh, needle, uh, acupuncture needle, and some wine cork. You're gonna. So now we have very nice uh, flat surface to work with, and uh, just to use your favorite distribution tool, and just give it a good tamp. Okay. So now we have a uh, puck is ready to go. So only thing we gotta do is, we are going to pull the great shot. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm just gonna warm up my shot glass too. The key to great uh, milk-based drink, any other drink, you know what, you need to pull a great shot, okay? Yes, even with, we are going to mix with American sugar, but you know, you want that good quality espresso. We're gonna lock it in. Yeah, maybe I can show you guys that. And I'm gonna start time. Okay, when I start the button, okay. And see what kind of shot we're gonna get this morning. Okay. Let's take a look.
Sure looks good. Okay, I got 20 gram in and about 18, 39 gram out, about 20 seconds there. As you saw, you saw some challenging too in the end. So shot looks good, but man, has a lot of crema as well. Comes to extraction time, 20 seconds. Thing is I prefer around like 25 to like 30 seconds because uh, don't forget, we are counting the pre-infusion time too. So again, so this is uh, actually a little fast, okay? It's not the perfect shot, but thing is, you know, let's not waste it. I'm just gonna try this first. And people, you're gonna make the uh, frosting up. <clears throat> Cheers, I'm gonna have a quick sip. Yeah, it's a little sour. Again, because the grinder setting is too coarser. You know what? Let's, let's do one more, okay? Let's do one more shot. Because I do want to, uh, I, I wanna show you guys the, the, you know, what great shot look like, I hope. Okay, so right now we are at number nine. So we need to go down to, I'm thinking about going down to number eight right now, okay? Let's go one notch lower. Hold on a second, number eight. Yeah, number eight should be fine. And then, okay, so whenever, whenever you are using hopper, uh, whenever you're going down to lower uh, grinder setting, you want to run your grinder, okay, to go down. Going up doesn't matter. Okay, so but once you are going down, again, this is case of we are using the hopper there. If you're using the hopper, just run it. Go down to number eight. Okay, so one notch lower. So because you have to, the uh, grinder has to move because if not, it, it just lower your grinder size. Uh, the co uh, grind coffee beans are stuck between the gear. It doesn't move. So again, the best way to do that is run it and go or change your grinder setting. We're gonna do one more, uh, one more try here, okay? So this is not the best shot. So we're gonna do one more. Uh, exactly same setting, okay? Uh, number, actually number nine to number eight. Uh, we're gonna do the same dosing amount as well. Okay. So let's do that one more time. I know this is a tedious process, but I mean, this is the I think the only way to do it. By the way, if you guys are looking, if you are just joining us the first time, you got, if you are interested purchasing Bravo Barista Express, I mean, ju just watch these videos, okay? I think that's another reason I go live. So you guys are going, going to see the good and the bad of coffee making, okay? Again, so every time I do is I just measure out every single time. Because you want the consistency, okay? You want the, so let's see here. So this is 19 gram. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple more grams. So I'm gonna make that 20. Uh, and one more thing is I end up at home, you guys are using the bribery baskets. That's the 16 to 18 gram. So you cannot fit 20 on that one. So if you can, go with like Amazon filter basket. They're pretty inexpensive. If you can get the uh, IMS, that's pretty good as well. That's like more like 18 to 22 gram. So we are doing the, another 20 gram, but this time we change the grinder size to number eight. And just to make sure tap everything in there. I got 19.2 again, which means the coffee grind is stuck somewhere. So that's why you guys see me with tapping the grinder. I know it looks somewhat silly, but it does work. So I got 19, uh, 20 gram in and then I got 19.93 gram out. So yeah, pretty much it does work, okay? I know people out there purchasing that single dose mod uh, it does, I mean, the, that works wonderful, but this is like, you know, cheaper way to do it. The fact that it's not cost you anything. Okay, I'm just gonna shake it around. 
this time. I'm not using the funnel this time. So I mean, so this is it here. Now it comes to distribution. It's just to use any tools you, you guys like. You know, you don't have to use this, okay? This is Senate and industry, but I mean, if you can get one from uh, Amazon, that's great as well. Temping pressure, just be consistent every time. So now we are perfectly manicured puck. All right, so we're gonna do one more shot. We're gonna do the same set, okay? Hopefully we're gonna get, do better this time. All right. Lock it in. All right, let's go here. Okay. Okay, get our fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully we're gonna get a better shot this time. A lot better, a little bit of channeling, but it's not too bad. I'm shooting for around 40 gram there. Okay, 25 seconds. Shot looks great. Okay. Shot does, it looks fantastic. So, you know what? Take the shot. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I think that's a lot better than last one for sure. Because, I mean, if we dialed in one more time, I think we're gonna get right, just right, but I mean, this one should be fine. Just dark, rich. Cheers. Yep, this is it. It's great. So, again, I mean, if you, some of you out there, you got to struggle with getting a real good shot. As you saw, I'm using the pretty much all stock, okay? Built-in grinder. Only thing I'm using is the, uh, just the uh, Amazon filter baskets. That's it. By the way, you see this? I uh, just, light just came on. It's the blinking lights. The blinking light means the clean on cycle, which means you gotta use the cleaning tablet going through the back flush. But once that light is solid, which means that's time for descale. And that some of you ask me, when can I use a vinegar during the descaling cycle? Uh, answer is you can actually. It's not gonna hurt the machine because I tried both ways before. Works just fine. Okay, so let's make a frastina. So I got my blender ready. It's gonna be very simple, okay? Uh, just use the blender at home. And the only thing you gotta do is, uh, we, gotta, we are going to make something strong, okay? Uh, because it, I usually make with a like 12 ounce cup, but we're gonna use a smaller cup this time. Uh, start with ice. And then we are going to uh, shut up your delicious espresso, which is cool. And then it comes the caramel. Just do whatever you guys want, okay? So since we are mixing with, I like to do two, okay? Some of you like three, four. Nobody gonna judge you for that. And then uh, use, sometimes I know some people use like heavy cream, but I like to just use the whole milk, okay? Just use the whole milk. And the only thing you gotta do is put it in here and blend it. Pretty much it. 
So let's try this one. So this is the Caramel Frastino. Frastino. I'm gonna shout out to Simon, right? Simon? Yeah. So and then if you want to you can put like whipped cream topping or like you know caramel drizzle on the top, but you know what? I'm not a big fan of that. I, I just like to just plain, okay? Cheers. Wow, this is really good. Okay. I think I should have done three pumps instead of a two, but yeah, two pumps is fine as well. It's not too sweet, and it's not, you know, just give you the right, the perfectly balance between coffee, espresso, and the milk, and really, really, really fantastic. Hmm. Wow, it's great. Uh, you have to try it at home, okay? especially day like this right now is almost what 95 degree in tucson it's pretty hot pretty hot okay uh, any questions this morning we have questions by the way so if you guys are around tonight is dana this morning I don't know. okay so anyway so we're gonna have uh, i'm gonna have a, a instagram live maybe tonight around seven six or seven i'm gonna have dane from australia he's gonna be on and he's gonna show us his uh, lilette bianca show us you know his workflow hopefully we can get him uh, tonight and uh, okay go ahead and so someone wants to know where you buy your um someone wants to know filter. okay it comes the porter filter uh so uh this porter filter i got actually i have two of these uh one from uh, actually both of them crema coffee products so they are the they so Crema is the only company I know based in the United States. So, I mean, I like to support, you know, company in the United States. I, you know, I like to, you know, support both, you know, company in China or United States. As long as they have good products, I like to sp support them. So I got this port filter from Crema Coffee Products. And you, you can also buy it from Amazon as well or directly go to the website too. So you have both options. But the best upgrade for your Bravo Barista Express I think it definitely upgrade your filter baskets. Okay, if you can get, if you can find the IMS filter basket, it's great. If not, the Amazon basket is not bad. Okay, you guys just saw with this video, uh, eighteen to twenty gram baskets works pretty good. So another viewer, Lisa. Asked, Lisa asked. On her Barista Pro. Oh, she have Barista Pro there, and. Her grinder is set at eleven. Okay. Go set thirteen and a half, and this fills the basket. Not sure how you get 18 second grind time. Okay, okay. So, so Lisa has, what's the grinder size? 18? 11. 11. She gets, um, she, she gets 13 and a half fills the basket. 13 and a half gram fill the basket? Not sure how you get 18 second grind time. Uh, Lisa, do you have, what? are you using the single baskets or double baskets? Because... With the double baskets, because the rubber baskets, it's about, I mean, they are uh, eight, uh, 16 to 18 gram baskets. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with your grind. But all depends. If you are using like, okay, if you are using a darker roast. And then, okay, so it depends on your coffee roast, okay, uh, roasting level. If a darker roast, the 18 gram of a darker roast is not the same as 18 gram of a lighter roast. Okay, because with the lighter roast, it's a lot more dense, so it's not gonna fill the baskets. But with the darker roast, they're so obviously they are, you know, they are lighter. So 18 gram is she using the double basket? She can only fit 13.5 gram. Uh, you know what, Lisa? Uh, why don't you message me on my Instagram, okay? And then maybe I can revisit with you. Yeah. What else? Because 13 gram is not a lot, so. Because um, usually you put about 18, 16. She says her crema doesn't flow right away, it's midstream. Okay, so, so again, so it all depends on the, what kind of coffee beans you are using as well. So this coffee beans I'm using is about, uh, about seven days old. So it all depends on the uh, coffee roast. She said she's using a darker roast and it's 13 and a half seconds, not grams. Oh, 13 and a half seconds. Okay, 13 and a half seconds. Uh, which means you need to slow down your shot. 
uh, try a go, you know, finer setting there. Yeah, you got to go finer setting. So you, right now you're at grinder size number 11, so maybe go down to maybe 9 or 8. Yeah, just make sure slow down the shot. You're going to get a much better result. What's your pre-infusion duration and what is your pressure? Oh, goodness. Uh, someone asked me my pre-infusion. Okay, I always go manual mode, okay? The manual mode, mode means you just hold down the button. Doesn't matter single or double. Once you hold down the button there, uh, getting into pre-infusion mode. And you can go uh, long as, you know, I usually go about five to seven seconds and let go. And then, and then I look at my scale, I got my ratio down, and then press to one more time to stop. So when uh, it comes to pressure, that depends. Because the Bravo Barista Express, it run high, okay? So it all depends. And um, can you link the IMS basket? Okay, so I'm going to put the link to IMS basket, but it's all sold out. Okay, it's been sold out for a month. So, but uh, I, I mean, if, I can, if I can find it, I get, I'm going to put the link down there for you uh, when I'm done with it. If not, I'm going to have the Amazon filter baskets. I mean, they're, they're fine. Is that good as IMS? Uh, I don't know. But I guess I prefer Amazon because it's a lot cheaper than IMS. Because I am, uh, let's see, I have IMS basket. I think this is IMS, yeah. So, it's, it's better. I have to say, uh, you can put about 20 to 23 gram in it if you want to. You can have a lot of coffee in there. Is there anywhere else you'd recommend buying it? Oh, goodness. IMS, you can buy from directly. From, and then, uh, that's, uh, you, can go, you can go to IMS website. Yeah, you can get that as well. Can you link that? Uh, you can find it on the web. If not, I'm gonna, let me do some research. Um, so, Michael, I think, is in Tucson and mm -hmm. he says, Good morning. Where do you buy your unroasted coffee beans? I'm looking for some to start roasting my own. What are the cross streets? Okay, so Michael asked, uh, Where can I buy whole beans, the green beans from Tucson? Uh, you know what? I like. Okay. Most coffee roasters, even uh, uh, Savaya Coffee, yeah, I know Savaya Coffee serves green beans as well. And they, or I usually go to Adventure Coffee too. So Adventure Coffee, we have to call them. Uh, just make sure or search uh, Adventure Coffee uh, Tucson. They have a phone number there. Just call, uh, call Scott. Uh, and then you can buy the whole beans. Uh, he sells you, you know, pounds at a time. So if you want to buy 10 pounds, he's going to sell you 10 pounds. And the Savaya Coffee has, again, uh, the, uh, Savaya Coffee uses organic and also Adventure Coffee uses organic too. So yeah, uh, what kind of coffee uh, roaster do you have, Mike? Okay, let's see. And Ermit says, by or, the way, yesterday my barista pro asked me to descale after yep. one month and two weeks. Okay. So you got the Ermit ask. Yeah, uh, you know what? Just follow the schedule, okay? I know some people wait for a while to descale it, but I mean, if you are using like filter water, because we're not dealing with a boiler. We are dealing with a, just a kind of a thermal jet. So, uh, is that necessary to descale, you know, following the schedule? Sometimes I skip, okay? I, sometimes I skip one cycle because I, I, I use the, just a uh, filter water. So, but it uh, comes to scale, uh, cleaning cycle, I definitely follow that. Is there really such a difference from the barista baskets? Uh, is there a difference between Brista basket versus uh, Bravo basket versus even Amazon baskets? Yeah, big difference. Okay. Because this is Bravo basket. You know what? Uh, I think the best way is to show you. Because a Bravo basket is not straight down, it's more like over shape. So here's the temp. You see that? It's, it doesn't go all the way down. Okay. So this is the. Amazon basket here, you see, go down. So that's more, uh, kind of more square. Let's see here. Yeah, so I mean, that, that's the main difference. And then, uh, bribery basket is more like 16 to 18 compared to more like 18 to 20 on Amazon. And then with the IMS, more like 18, more like 18 to 22 grams. So 
if you guys are like you know more espresso in the morning if you instead of getting like 40 gram if you want to get like 44 gram or you know 45 gram a bigger basket definitely helps okay and then uh, i think we are good okay uh so glad you guys are here this morning just make sure to press like um, if you guys like this uh video and then if you haven't subscribed my channel make sure to do so and let's i'm gonna jump into instagram uh right after this and then uh, let's see if you haven't followed me on instagram make sure to do it i mean it's a lot of fun i, I do a lot of behind the scene not even behind the scene i we we pretty much chit chat and just hang out you know talk with other coffee lovers out there in the world yeah it's, it's, it's a lot of you know it's a lot of fun time so uh wait hold on we have another question yeah two things um simon said he just got home he's so excited thank you for the recipe yep and larry says bought the black hands-free dosing funnel that you have for the 54 millimeter yep. baskets and it did not fit you have to modify yours oh okay so so this is 3d dosing funnel but some of them okay and make sure do not force it and the more okay mo most times it fits but if it doesn't fit and return it and get the right one okay. and i mean once you i mean that that's another reason i like recommend from amazon products because you can return it within 30 days it doesn't fit i just get a new one because again so sometimes this maker if it's slightly off, it doesn't fit, okay? So you want to be fit, but not too tight though. Way too tight. You don't want to be, you don't want to be tight, but not too tight that you don't want to break the, the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what's that called, but that thing right there, the ridge maybe. Yeah. Hinge there. You don't want to break it. So just make sure you want to be snug, but not forcing to fit it, which means sooner or later it's going to break up. So again, uh, if it doesn't fit like this, okay, it, it shouldn't move any, but yeah, uh, definitely uh, return it and get, uh, get another one. Um, and Larry says he bought it from Amazon, he'll return it, it's yep. way too tight. Yep. And then Damien says, when you pre-infuse, does it slow down or speed up the shot? Okay, so again, pre-infusion means you just kind of like give you like one or two bar of pressure to soak the puck. And, and after that, once you let it go, give you a full power. Because uh, it comes to bar pressure here, more like 12 to 13 bar pressure. So once you let it go, give you that 14 bar, uh, 13 bar pressure right away and then slow down. I mean, I think that's the reason why the puck prep is really important. Uh, you know, that's why end of the shot, the beginning of shot is great and the end of shot, you're going to see some channeling, but again, I mean, that's another reason, you know, I recommend you guys to use the like WDT tool or like puck rake to make sure they clump everything and make sure everything is a nice and level. So you can have, you know, good looking shots. I think that's another reason I like to use the bottomless pore filter. So you're going to see your shot quality. I think we are good this morning and then if you have time uh, jump into Instagram and uh, let's see so tomorrow morning we're not gonna do live streaming and then this way uh, you're gonna you guys are going to see me in other location there I'm not gonna tell you where but yeah uh, you're gonna uh, do some other uh, scenery different scenes and then uh, let's see uh, again tonight are we gonna uh, hopefully Dane's gonna join us on Instagram to show us his little Bianca all right see you guys next